In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start your own ATM business and start accumulating a lifetime of passive income and you never have to worry about tenants, toilets, or rental properties, ever. My name is Carrie Buck. I'm the owner of GoingFlippinCrazy.com and ATMBusinessBlueprint.com. First, I want to let you know real quick, the reason I'm whispering is my family and I are downstairs playing dominoes uh, and we just took a break you know, a bathroom break and a snack break. And I had this great idea to do this video for you. So I came up, grabbed my flip video camera, I came up here. Um, I'm actually in my 11 year old stepson's room. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a transformer behind me. I swear, this is not my room. <laughs> this is not my room. Um, but believe it or not, his room is the quietest right now. Uh, so I wanted to come in here and shoot this video. Now, if you're interested in starting an ATM business, maybe you're a real estate investor, and you're looking for something else to complement your real estate business. I know where you're coming from. I'm a real estate investor. I've been investing in real estate since 1999. I don't know if you can see it, but we buy houses. That's what my shirt says, all right? So I get it. Real estate investors get it. A lot of folks uh, who are real estate investors ask me questions about the ATM business, okay? So this is an awesome, awesome, awesome compliment to your uh, real estate investing business, okay? But don't get me wrong. I don't want to lose you. You don't have to be a real estate investor to want to start your own ATM business, okay? Maybe you're looking for a business opportunity. Maybe you're looking for some extra income. You know, you might have a full-time job or a part-time job, but you want some extra money. Uh, maybe you're just looking to start your own thing, okay? You want to fire your boss one day, okay? Well, I'm going to tell you right now how you can start an ATM business, okay? And start accumulating a lifetime of passive income. First things first, you have to scope out some locations. Decide where you want to put your ATM. Now, don't go in and talk to these locations, okay? Just scope them out, you know? Just when you're driving around, you're on your way to work, on your way to look at a, a property that you want to flip or wholesale, just, you know, look at, you know, all the restaurants or businesses and say, mm -mm, I think that might be a good spot. Places that a lot of people go to, okay? Um, places that um, are popular. You know, maybe they're popular with the college kids. Maybe they're popular with... Um, Couples that go on dates, you know what I mean? Just places that are popular and have people, all right? But don't get me wrong, okay? I don't want you to think that if you live in a small town that you're not gonna be able to find a location to put an ATM. Not true, I live in a small town. One of my best locations is in my small town in a Chinese restaurant, okay? So keep your mind open. Don't think you need a big, big convenience store or a big grocery store. No, you don't need a big store like that. You can get a bunch of little different spots, okay, and make yourself some passive income, okay? So just scope out a bunch of locations, maybe 10 or 20, that you think would make good spots for your ATM. Here's a tip for you. If you're out to dinner with your spouse, okay, or anywhere, if you're anywhere, and you break out your credit card, okay, and they say, oh, I'm sorry, we don't take credit cards, only cash. Ding, 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 perfect spot for your ATM. So put that on your list that you're scoping out. All right, so after you scoped out all these different locations, all right, and you have them in your head, you wrote it probably best to write them down, then you need to get what's called an ISO, Independent Sales Organization. Those are the folks that are gonna help you with the behind the scenes stuff, the processing of the ATM transactions, okay? Then, after you got that situated, then you're gonna go back to all these locations, okay? And you're gonna ask them if you can put your ATM in their business, okay? You know, hey, have you ever thought about an ATM? So just get in there and start talking to people. Start talking to people and ask them. And then you're going to get somebody to say, yes, I like my ATM. I like your ATM. Okay. Now, when you get that person, what you want to do is you can do the happy dance. You know, you can be like, yes. You can be a little scared. No problem. That's fine. You know, do it outside. <laughs> um, but then you're going to get them to sign a contract. Okay. You want them to sign a contract saying that you're the only. Oh, see, they're looking for me. I guess our bricks are breaks up. All right, so let me, let me speed this up for you guys. So you get them to sign a contract. You want it to say that you're the only one that's allowed to put your ATM in their location, okay? After that deal's inked and they sign it, all right, you're going to order your ATM, all right? Then you're going to wait for your ATM to come in. Then uh, once your ATM, the necessary equipment that you need for it, comes in, you're going to install it, okay? After it's installed, you're going to put cash into it. An ATM with no cash in it does you no good, all right? So 
You're going to put cash in it. Doesn't matter how much. Thousand bucks, two thousand bucks, five thousand, ten thousand, whatever. I know, I know. Carrie, I don't have ten thousand dollars to put in an ATM. You don't need ten thousand dollars. Start with a thousand bucks, okay? Because that money that you put in that ATM, constantly recycled. Constantly. So let's say you put a thousand bucks in your ATM. I go in, swipe my card, take money out of your ATM. Comes out of my bank account, back into your bank account. You go to your bank, take the money out, put it back in the ATM. Constantly recycled. So you just need that money one time okay and it doesn't need to be ten thousand dollars all right i know not all, all of us are walking around 10 g's in the bank that we can just stick in an atm start with a thousand bucks okay constantly recycle all right now after you do that keep an eye on it when it gets low nah, you fill it back up because the money's in your bank account take it back out put it back in rinse and repeat go visit those other locations get some more deals Put some more ATMs out there. My ATMs, to me, I consider them mini rental properties because I'm always getting this passive positive cash flow, right? And I don't have to worry about tenants or toilets. It's awesome. Awesome. All right, so in a nutshell, that's how you start an ATM business. They're pretty easy, right? Just go out and do it. Now, if you want some more training, and what's free, keyword free, uh, ATM training. I have a, a free video series that I do for ATM trainings. Okay, what you want to do is you want to go over to atmbusinessblueprint.com. Okay, you're going to uh, put your name and email address in there, hit the button, get access now, uh, and you're going to be taken right to, actually you're not going to be taken to the video yet, you actually have to confirm. I'm one of those people that I want to make sure I have your permission to send you my information. Okay, I want to make sure you're interested in the ATM business. I want to make sure you want to learn about the ATM business. So you actually have to go into your email, click the confirm button, okay? Click the confirm link in your email, and then boom, instantly you're going to be sent to the first training video, okay? And you're going to learn a little bit more about the ATM business. Because of course, I just, I gave you the nuts and bolts. I mean, that's really how you start an ATM business. So of course, there's little tidbits here and there in between. Uh, but you just go, atmbusinessblueprint.com, sign up for the free training videos, ask questions. Below the videos, you can ask any question you want and I'll be more than happy to answer for you, okay? So right now, atmbusinessblueprint.com, all right? Sign up, access, confirm your link, boom, you're gonna be watching training videos about the ATM business. In a week, you can be good to go, all right? Once again, my name is Carrie Buck. I uh, own goingflippincrazy.com, and I also own atmbusinessblueprint.com. Go out there and get yourself some ATMs, all right? Start your ATM business today or a week from now. But take some action and may you live happily off of passive income.